Welcome to the Augusta Golf Show podcast. Now, here's John Patrick. Stephen Alker decided that there was no better way to get the season started than to follow up his Charles Schwab Cup championship with a win at the Mitsubishi Electric Championship last weekend. It is a pleasure to welcome Stephen Alker back to the Augusta Golf Show. How are you, Stephen? I'm doing very well, thank you. Yeah, always a pleasure to be on. Thanks, John. Um, let me let me start with this. Shortly after this tournament last year, you lost your caddy, Sam Workman, to cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much how much were you thinking about him last week? Yeah, certainly early in the week. Um, you know, there was um, you know, you go back there, which it was only twelve months ago and and Sam passed away what you know, less than two weeks later. So um yeah, yeah there, there are emotions going back there again. You know, obviously I got a new guy and he's he's been so supportive and, and, and funny enough, um interesting, the last day Last year, when, when um, Sam was out with me, uh, he and Troy, my, now my caddy, Troy Martin, were sitting on the bench there outside uh, the, the locker room and just chatting, and, and they were there, and, and, and he was just recalling you know, that story and, and how you know, Sam wasn't feeling well, but he wanted to go and wanted to do this, you know, study this round. And uh, it, was, it was kind of emotional. He told that, you know, like on, on Monday last week. So, uh, yeah, a lot of emotions. And obviously coming down and, and having having won the tournament as well uh, was extra special. So, yeah, that was, it was a good week. I, I, I know it was a year ago, and you've probably talked a lot about it since then. But, but take a moment for the listeners this morning because, you know, sometimes the caddies are, are faceless. Talk a little bit about Sam. What kind of guy was he? Yeah, um, yeah, Sam, very easy going guy. Loved loved his sport and um, had a great passion for for caddying. I mean, um, you know, I, I didn't even realise up until our first one. He hadn't won a flag, he didn't won a tournament with anybody, and you know that that's how lo- that's how much he loved the game. Like you know, he had taught the game and he'd been coaching. He tried to play a little bit, so uh, he'd been amongst it. He knew he knew the game. He he knew. How we worked and how caddies worked and and what what was involved. So um, he had the knowledge, he had amazing attitude. Like when I was shooting eighty or sixty five, I mean the guy was the same. You know, he had the same attitude, um, positive, and yeah, as I said, just just loved being out there. Had a great passion for it. So um, that's that, that's all the making of a of a really good caddy. Um. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry about all that. I, I really am. I don't know that you and I have spoken since then. No. Um, oh, thank you. 63, 63, last two rounds, Friday, Saturday. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. That's some pretty good playing. Uh, did yeah. you come into the tournament playing that well, or did you find something that week? Um, no, not really find something. You know, I had um, I had some really good time off. I, I, we played a World Champions Cup, the new event, teams event, uh, end of last year. Um, Kind of uh, early mid December and, and didn't touch a club for like three weeks after that. So I think that definitely helped. Just just the downtime and not having any golf and getting away from it, and to come back fresh and looking forward to playing the game. So sometimes you you slog away. You're looking for something. You're working so hard on your game that you know you just get wear yourself out a little bit. I think that break helped and to come back out and feel fresh and and then just you know. It, it, as the week went on, and I liked the golf course, and I liked going back there and playing, and just as the week went on, you know, just kind of built and, and felt like my game was coming together, and um, the putting putting felt good. So, yeah, it, it was just a combination of things, but um, um, but we had some decent conditions uh, during the event. I think when one windy day on the on the Friday was a little a little breezy, but otherwise conditions were good. So, you know, scoring was out there, but. Um, you know, 63, 63 maybe surprised me a little bit, but uh, that's just kind of what you have to do. To, you know, I only won by four shots in the end, so um, I kind of need to shoot those scores just to win, you know. Uh, you know, I had Scott Perrell on the program before the tournament, and we talked about that tournament and the Hawalalai and, and how much fun it is. How much do you guys enjoy being there that week? Well, it's a blast. I mean, first of all, you know, it's Hawaii, you know, the weather's, Good. It's high seventies, low eighties. You get out of cold weather. Um, the golf course. It's fun. It's wide open, but it's more of a second shot golf course. The condition is just phenomenal. 
Uh, and then, of course, as a, the result there at um, the Sheraton Resort at Hualalai, one of the best in the world. So um, we're well looked after. We just have to get a turn up and, and play golf, basically. So <laughs> it's that kind of week, and um, it, it's, it's a super nice start to the year. Kind of couldn't ask for better. Backstagecountry.com, your online home for all things country music. <laughs> Lainey Wilson is on a roll. She's delivering great music and teaming up with some of country's hottest acts. Text Lainey to 45911 to see which four Lainey Wilson collabs have us talking at BackstageCountry.com. Text Lainey to 45911 to get a link to the list sent right to your phone from BackstageCountry.com. We're talking with Stephen Alker here on the Augusta Golf Show. I read where you attributed a, a, a lot of the victory to your putting. Did, was that something you worked on in the off season? Yeah, it worked on a little bit. Yeah, it was good uh, end of the season. Um, it was actually good the last event of the season. I I wasn't putting great up until the Schwab Cup Championship uh, last year that that I won. Uh, and just that week, um, you know, like like the the weekend before in Boca, just kind of found something that. You know, I kind of freed up my putting stroke a little bit. It was getting very stiff and rigid. Mm. Um, it just didn't feel uh, feel uh, loose and free, and and kind of freed it up a bit in Phoenix the last week, and ended up winning there, and just kind of carried that over and uh, fine tuned it a little bit for for Hawaii. So that kind of um, just just carried on from kind of where I left off, and you know my, my own play was was very very good. Had a lot of greens and a lot of. Um, gave myself a lot of opportunities just things to hit it close a lot of time last week so that was key as well um that was i'm not telling you anything you don't know that was win number eight out there i'm not going to ask if it gets easier i know it doesn't but with that kind of experience do you find yourself Stephen, in a different place when you get into contention these days yeah i i think so you know yeah, the nerves are still there and you know 10 off the last day you, you don't know what's going to happen um you know i know you know Strick is you know, and, and Harris and Fraser in the last group with me, they're they're you know, they're playing well, they're they're trying to chase me. So, you know, there's still that amount of of, you know, um uncertainty and, and you know, some um some nervousness at the start of the round. You know, you want to get a good start. But um I think just as the round goes on, you just you know, the more wins you have, that that comfortability factor as they say, you just get I think you just just I find a, a calmness kind of comes over me that, you know, you don't, um, you, you just don't panic in certain situations. You kind of stay pretty calm and just let the round build and um, you, you play uh, smarter shots possibly at times or you, you're more aggressive when you need to be at times. I think you just, you know, you learn a lot from from winning and bringing that experience forward to, to the next um, to the next time. I, th- I think those things are really important. So with that, when you're not in contention, what's it like? Well, you know, that's, uh, then you kind of go into uh, the, the grind mode and you, you, you know, at least I try to get something out of, um, what, you know, when I'm not in contention. Um, one, you know, I'm, I'm still I'm tr- still trying to shoot the best score I can. Let, let's let's finish strong and on Sunday for you know for a push next week. You know, let's, let's maybe try and find something, or let's try and um, have a better attitude or something. You know, just something that can help for the next week. You can take it forward. You know, um, but that's what I find, and um, I, I don't think anything really changes that much when you're um, when you're not contention. It's just you know, when you do get in contention, I think it's more an attitude thing rather than the, the purely technical or, or you know, just the game itself. Um, I think that the, the mental side is huge. You got a major um, in the eight wins. So, do you do you focus on majors? Is that something you you set your mind to, like they do on the on the regular tour? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I'd like to play better in the majors this year. I, I didn't. Uh, players as well as you know, 2022. I, every every major I had a chance to win, mm-hmm. so uh, pretty much at some time uh, last year, not so much. Only a couple. I, I was kind of in the thick of it. So yeah, but at the same time, I think um, 
you know, the, the game just kind of um, builds when you're not thinking about it too much. You know, I want I want to have a, a focus on that and prepare for it, but I don't want that to be my total focus. So if if the game's coming around, and it's feeling good and it's good that week. Well, it, it's good that week, but um, I, I I think you know I certainly like to to play better in some majors, but I'm not going to be, it's not going to be the be and all end all and, and, and total focus at the end, at the start of the year. You mentioned a couple of minutes ago, the champions cup, how much fun was that? And was that, was that your first opportunity for team play? Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was a blast. Um, I, I think numbers wise, we had six on a team and we're playing the nine hole matches and, and a lot of points available. And, and I think for the first one, it was, um, the organisation was was amazing for for putting this together so quickly and and getting the guys together and getting the golf course and the whole setup and and to have it come down to um, you know like the last hole basically of the event um, to see who won what was exciting um, so taking it forward it's going to be exciting uh, whether they um, have more members in the team at a later date I don't know I thought six was good for right now but. Um, you know, I, I haven't been involved in a lot of that over the years. Like I've done Dunhill Links uh, championships for my country, and uh, I played a teams event like in 17, I think it was, 16, uh, in China. I played a teams event. So, yeah, a couple, but to be amongst that company like Hall of Famers and major champions and guys who'd played Ryder Cups and President's Cup, it, it, was, it was exciting. It was... Um, it, it was a lot of fun. I, I had an absolute blast, and my wife did too. The two girls were hanging out, and it was a real, a real, a t- real uh, fantastic team atmosphere. So, do we add you to the list of those who, once they get on a team match, just want to do it again? Oh, totally, absolutely. <laughs> and I, th- I think the format, being what it was, uh, to totally uh, unique um, format. I, I think. Uh, it's. I'd love to be in another team. Um, you know, I think I think Ernie's probably going to be captain again for internationals. So um, he, he's, a, he's a good man to play for. Stephen, congratulations! Uh, way to start the year. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to do this. I, I always appreciate you coming on the show. Well, thanks for having us. I appreciate it. Always, always a pleasure to be on.